This is uh, my high fire ceramic kiln that I use for uh, casting glass for making uh, telescope mirrors. Um, I got it's an old it's an older kiln. It's a Scott 181. It's been out of out of business for for quite a while. I uh, I uh, fixed her up and uh, got her going. And uh, what I did here is I built this. I built this uh, digital controlling uh, unit here, temperature controlling. And I did that because the uh, control box over here, all it had was, was low, medium, and high. And that's, that's not very good for, for casting glass. Uh, for big quantities of glass, really requires uh, some pretty specific temperatures, and you need to be able to control that within a degree or two. So uh, I took out all the mold controls. I highly recommend that you do not do this at home. It is very dangerous and uh, voids all ratings. You all the ratings for the uh, electronic stuff. So don't don't do that. But I did it. So and I uh, have some light switches on there so I can turn the elements on and off in case the, the controller this controller box would ever fail. Um, it's just on 220. Um, and uh, you'll see a line, this line right here. Going to that little deal. That's the thermal couple that goes in there. I've got some pieces of ceramic insulation that will withstand the heat there uh, to plug up the vent holes. So that's too cheap to go buy vent plugs. Um, I got the lid propped open right now. The kiln's firing. I have a mold in there that's been kiln washed and it needs to cure at 500 degrees. And uh, you can see that the temperature controller. Uh, the red is is what the actual temperature is inside the kiln, and the green is the temperature, the target temperature, what I set it to go to. Uh, I need to bake this at 500. I'm just going up in increments and then it soak for a couple minutes. And you can see that the temperature controller is, is holding that pretty close to 200. You know, at higher temperatures, it does an even better job. But, uh, I built this controller box. Uh, there's a couple of uh, solid state relays inside there that get really hot. This is a computer fan that I put on there to uh, on a heat sink to keep the relays cool. And the kiln that's firing the lids propped open to let the moisture out from the mold as it gets hot. So uh, I'm just going to uh, take it up another 100 degrees. Setting it for 300. We're set. A little green light on the left comes on. The relays are allowing it power to go through. So that's how I control the temperature in this old kiln. It needed some repair, some brick work, but uh, kilns are actually pretty easy to repair, and I had never done it before. You can, you can see the temperature's going up, just like I told it to, and it'll stop when it gets to 300 degrees, but for right now, I'm just baking this mold, curing it, and getting all the moisture out of it, so that's what, I, what I've got for this one. 